Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you watched my memories video with my sister where we talked about gaming and how she used to see me game, what games she thought were cool herself and all that gubbins guys, we also talked about my mum and dad and about the games that they used to like playing. Well, my mum was quite a big gamer actually so i'm going to do a separate video of some of my mum's favorite games so we're going to start the easy route guys because my dad loved three games guys just three games that i always saw him playing that he absolutely loved he wasn't a big gamer whatsoever but these three just really did it for him and oh my word they're three little stunners guys we have Phoenix for the Atari 2600. We have Alex the Kid for the Master System. And we have Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse for the Master System as well, guys. Those are the three that we're going to be taking a look at. So, yeah, we're going to start with Phoenix, guys, and then we're going to work our way along. But, yeah, these three games, guys, I mean, it's funny because I've said this so many times. Um, back in the late 70s, and early 80s, uh, even, I think it was 1980 that we left Germany, or 1981, possibly, 1981, maybe. Uh, my dad, last place that he had, guys, was a franchise of a, you know, fast food joint, doing fried chicken, basically, and he had an arcade in the back of it, a big arcade, guys, and, you know, he absolutely loved having that arcade, and I'm sure he probably played on some of the machines, guys, I seem to remember playing them with him, but I was only, you know, I was only a kid myself at the time. Um, I would have been 10, maybe 11 at a push. And I do remember playing like Space Invaders with him and things like that. So that was one thing I remember him gaming on was the arcades. But as far as home's concerned, these were the only three games that I actually remember him playing. And my sister's the same. She remembers only these three guys. Uh, now, him and my mum did play them together. Not not Phoenix. Phoenix, they didn't play together. That was just my dad. Um, but my mum and dad used to play the other two. And they used to have a bit of competition going so you could get the furthest or the best score or whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, I want to show you them, guys. They are very famous games, all three of them. Even Phoenix, guys. It, it spawned so many copycats games afterwards even though it was a bit of a copycat itself because it is a static shooter just like space invaders but so many other games copied this fantastic atari 2600 game now i say atari 2600 game it was actually in the arcades to begin with and it was in japan europe and north america now the 2600 version that was then ported a year later is only available in north america now, in that last video there with my sister, we do talk about the fact that it was weird because we must have picked up yeah, an Atari 2600 from North America. And I do believe I picked one up on the boot fair and that's why it came with it. So, yes, guys, would you like to join me as I show you my dad's, my late dad's three favourite games of all time? Right. Hold on to your bitches. Because this is three stunning titles. Guys, it really is. Back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys, with the first of my uh, late dad's favourite video games. This is Phoenix for the Atari 2600. Fantastic Space Invaders type game. Ooh, it got me. Yes, got it. 
a fantastic game. Yes. Oh, hard. It is bloody hard. Especially when you get to these buggers. Oh, ho. The red ones. Wow. That's gonna be good in itself. Oh that'll be the end of that. We'll give it one more go guys. Here we go. Oh straight away look, damn it. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Oh. oh might be an oldie, but it's still hard. We're never going to get to that big ship, guys. There is a big ship we can get to. Yes, got it. What a fantastic game. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Probably not even going to reach the red ones this time, guys. They are so hard to get. Yes, got it. We did reach the red. Well, wow. Oh, that'll be the end of that then. Yep, okay guys, it's time to move on to the next one. Right, here we go guys, with the second game. That my late dad loved. There's the demo of the original Alex the Kid in Miracle World. As I've said before guys, there is a way of playing it on the Switch these days. Modern. Right, here we go guys. Got him. This one. I'm sure you all know Alex the Kid. What a beautiful flipping platformer, guys. Fantastic, but brilliant. No wonder my dad loved it so much. Oh, yeah, bugger. Oh, come on, you bugger. <laughs> you forget how hard some bits of this are. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we're gonna come on. That's it. Just jump down there. Oh, you bugger. <laughs> ah, good place to stop there because we need to move on to the next one. Right, here we go guys, with the last one. There's a fantastic Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. I remember seeing this for the first time, it was just awesome looking. Right, here we go guys. Normal. Right, here we go. Oh, yes, so. Oh, bugger off. Oh, sis. Those bloody flowers are horrible. I've so got it. Oh, got him as well. Cool. There's a little secret area. Now, if you jump here. It brings up uh, some more chests. That's it. Got it. Oh, buddy, but if I forget about that. Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> Trapped. Oh, you can't pick them up. I thought you could. Hmm. Right, back up we go then. Oh, 
can oh you can go further though. Yeah. Oh. oh, I'll tell you what, that is just pure nostalgia for me, guys. Pure nostalgia. Um, I miss my mum and dad so much, I really do. Miss them so much. And when I see something like that, guys, you know, I play on them myself again. It just brings it all back to me, guys, of them two sitting on the sofa, especially with, you know, obviously Alex the Kid and uh, Castle of Illusion and watching them play against each other. Absolutely fantastic memories of them sitting there. And just the, the like my sister was talking about in that other video about them being drunk and, uh, you know, battling each other. Oh, it was it was hilarious. It really was. Very, very nostalgic indeed. And then, of course, Phoenix, where my dad was playing it. Very nostalgic as well, him getting quite angry, you know, because it is a flipping hard game. It might be simple, but it's bloody hard. Um, yeah, just just the fantastic memories of it, guys. Brilliant. So I had to show you those three titles, guys, with Phoenix, oh, Alex the Kid in Miracle World, and, of course, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse, but on the Master System. Uh, there was a version, of course, on the Mega Drive, which a lot of people think is superior. But, you know, I love the Master System version because that's the one I played so much. I do like the Mega Drive version, of course I do. But I love, love, love the Master System version. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That was just to show you that, you know, uh, you know, even somebody who wasn't a big gamer whatsoever, yeah, could have at least three games, guys, that he absolutely adored. Or should I stick up three fingers, three games uh, that he adored? So, yeah, you know... Oh, yeah, very nostalgic, guys. I'm I'm getting quite uh, welled up here. But yeah, had to be done, guys. But like I said, there's also going to be one for my mum. And she was a much bigger gamer. So I'll be able to show you uh, maybe a top 10 or something like that. But that will come in the future, guys. Uh, there we go. Simple as that, guys. Just a bit of nostalgia for myself that I want to share with you lovely people. Right, and with that... We're moving over to my giveaway, guys. Yeah, this time I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to show you the prize first. What are you going to win, guys? On my thousand sub giveaway, which I'm only literally six away from now, guys. Six people away, six subs away, and then I'm going to be pulling the winner with Josh with a random comment generator. But you're going to win a brand new and sealed, as you can see, there's the seals Evercade Portable. And it's the North American version, guys. Different box. Um, doesn't matter. You can play the cartridges from wherever you are in the world because they're not region locked. But it does mean that there's a cartridge missing out of the box because they had licensing issues in the States. So there's only one cartridge included, which is an Atari collection. But fret not, guys. There is. Look how beautiful is that. Fret not because I am going to include... A brand new and sealed Interplay Collection 2 as well. So you will get that second cartridge, yeah. So that is the prize, guys. And what a fabulous prize that is. Oh, wicked. I love Blaze and I love the other kid. So yes, guys, that is the prize. Now, how can you win it? How can you enter to win it? Well, there's a video linked below, guys. That is the original giveaway video. To enter, you need to go there and make a comment. Whether it's just hello or whatever you like, that enters you. Now, there's a couple of rules. And that one is, number one, most importantly, you must be subscribed to my channel. Secondly, guys, one comment per person. Now, if you've got multiple people in your household that all have different accounts, that's fine. They can all vote, can't they? But yeah, one comment per person. And as I say, guys, as soon as I reach 1,000 subs, me and Josh will pull the winner using a random comment generator. And the lucky... Lad or gal, yeah, it's going to be brilliant. But I started this quite early on, guys, because I wanted everybody to have a chance of winning. So I wanted everybody to have a chance to enter and then have a possibility of winning it. And I'm, you know, I was praying and praying that it would be this side of Christmas because even if you've got an Evercade, guys, there might be somebody you want to gift it to for Christmas. You can give, gift it to one of your family members, you could gift it to a friend. So, yeah, I was really, really hoping. And it does look that way, guys. I mean, only six more. I'm sure we'll do that before Christmas. So, yeah, what a fantastic, fantastic um, 
way to say thank you to you. Brilliant, brilliant lot for getting me there in the first place with this very cool giveaway of an Evercade portable and an extra cartridge. In this case, an extra cartridge would be in the uh, North American model. But there we are, guys. That is the giveaway. Now, I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs up and of course tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And again guys, do you love the retro classics? Like that up here on the Evercade guys. Because if you do, emulation might be the way forward for you. That is a way of preserving these classic games guys for future generations. Because otherwise they would just vanish forever unfortunately. So that's a brilliant way of preserving them. So if you do love emulation, I've got a fantastic group for you on Facebook. It's the Retro Emulation Fan Group that me and my bestie Nate set up some time ago. We now have a stellar admin team behind us and we also have an ever-growing member base. I do believe it's on about 440 members. So plenty of people for you to come and have a banter with. Tons of videos as well, from system reviews to tech help videos to emulation performance videos and a lot more. So yeah, if you just love emulation, guys, head below. Come over and join the madness. And then, guys, I also have my UK Crowd Gaming Facebook group where we cover everything from retro to modern gaming, Pong machines to PS5s and everything in between. Again, ever-growing member base, fantastic admin team and tons of videos for you to watch because other YouTubers are putting their videos up there all the time, guys. So, yeah, a ton of content for you to watch. So, if you just love gaming in general, head below. Ask to join and I'll accept you in no time. And then finally, guys, I have a Patreon. Again, guys, there's a video there that explains why I set it up in the first place. Give that a watch and then see if you want to join me on my Patreon journey. And with that, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. And see you as in. Tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.